A team of scientists led by Carnegie's Lin Wang has observed a new form of very hard carbon clusters which is capable of indenting diamond. Carbon is the fourth most abundant element in the universe and takes on a wide variety of forms. The honeycomb-like graphene, the pencil-lead graphite, diamond, cylindrically structured nanotubes, and hollow spheres called fullerenes. Some forms of carbon are crystalline, meaning that the structure is organized in repeating atomic units. Other forms are amorphous, meaning that the structure lacks the long-range order of crystals. Hybrid products that combine both crystalline and amorphous elements had not previously been observed, although scientists believed they could be created. Wang's team started with a substance called carbon-60 cages, made of highly organized balls of carbon constructed of pentagon and hexagon rings, bonded together to form a round, hollow shape. An organic xylene solvent was put into the spaces between the balls and formed a new structure. The scientists then applied pressure to this combination of carbon cages and solvent to see how it changed under different stresses. At relatively low pressure, the carbon 60s cage structure remained, but as the pressure increased, the cage structure started to collapse into more amorphous carbon clusters. However, the amorphous clusters still occupied their original sites, forming a lattice structure. The team discovered that there is a narrow window of pressure, about 320,000 times the normal atmosphere, under which this new structured carbon is created and does not bounce back to the cage structure when pressure is removed. This is crucial for finding practical applications for the new material going forward. This material was capable of indenting the diamond anvil used in creating the high pressure conditions. This means that the material is super hard. The scientists created a new type of carbon material comparable to diamond. Once created under extreme pressures, this material can exist at normal conditions, meaning it could be used for a wide array of mechanical, electronic, and electrochemical uses. The work was published in Science. The Carnegie Institution has had over 110 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.